Now, we go to the World Bank. The World Bank, by its mandate, by agreement with Europe, that the Europeans will always head the IMF. By agreement, the World Bank's president has always ever been, even though there are 188 member states, the World Bank's president has always ever been just American. To the point, to the point, that many of you remember that neoconservative Paul Wolfowitz, that racist butcher of the Middle East. When he left George Bush's administration, what did he become? He became the president of the World Bank. This is what I talk about when I talk about white supremacy. I'm not talking about some dumb working class white motherfucker who can't do shit to me, who's just physical. I'm talking about the institutions of white power that gives you white privilege. Yeah, you need to know this. A plane crashes in India with 400 people on board. The media tells you one American, two English, one French. Fuck the 396 packy bastards. Fuck them. Fuck those 396 packy bastards. They were probably on their way to England to claim fucking benefits. That's the bullshit of the racism. Do you remember? In Australia, hundreds of refugees were fleeing. People are always fleeing and trying to get to other parts of the world. From Iraq during the war and all this time trying to get to Australia. The Australian government sent out the Navy and the Army and the Air Force to put, no, to push the ship out to sea to make sure that that ship did not dock in Australia so that they would be responsible for them as refugees. And as a result, the ship overturned, 100, over 100 people died as a result. And then, in the same week, a white man by the name of Tony Bullimore was sailing his yacht around the world as white people do. Oh, yeah, just yeah, sail, yeah. only white people. Because white people are explorers. Black people are immigrants and refugees. <laughs> a white man on a, on a oh. fucking dinghy trying to escape the benefit cuts from England. <laughs> on a fucking raft in the Australian fucking ocean. I'm telling you, it's the truth. Tony Bullimore sailing his yacht. Why they oh, well, he came, the yacht came into problems. The within the there. same fucking week. The Australian government sent out their same air force to rescue Tony Bullimore. They hoisted him up. All the media's cameras were there. Hollywood was offering him a fucking deal. He, had a, he signed a book deal. Hold on, my friend. Why are they fleeing? Hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on, sir. Please don't interrupt me when I'm insulting you. What do you have? You had Tony Bullimore sign a book deal worth a million dollars. He became rich. Oh, fucking hell, you white people. Cost. Oh. You get so many privileges, brother. Really? Uh, let me dream about being white. <laughs> you don't get it. Oh, and I'm not saying, saying I'm not saying, no, no, no. I'm not saying that all white people are white guilty people and party to it. Better. Sir, all I'm saying is, sir, look at America. America's burning up. We've had, fuck, we've had Baltimore, Ferguson, New York. Why is America still on fire? Why? No one gets it. And uh, look at how they frame it. Let me show you white supremacy. Oh no, madame, you can ask me. Yes, madame. Oh, no, look at them. They get angry. They get angry. They get angry. Who was it? Who was it? Look at them. They get angry. They don't like it. Who was it? It was black people that were setting Baltimore on fire. It was black people. It was black people. It was black people. Why were people fleeing Somalia? Why are they fleeing Somalia? Hold on, sir, sir. One fool at a time, one fool at a time, she's first. Oh, yeah. What were you saying, madam? Black people, of course, of course. It was black people burning down Baltimore. Madam, the nature of any riot is anarchic. It's anarchy. There's no, there is no order in rioting. Hold on, now let's look at this. When black people were rioting in America because they were claiming that too many young black men are being murdered in the streets by the police, by everyone, hold my friend, please don't by each other. Sir, shut up. Everyone, <laughs> every, sir, we're going to get to it. Black on black sir, violence. We're gonna, sir, we're going to get to it. Hold on. He says, sir, look at the distractions. Look at the cliches that. Hold on, sir, sir. Look at the cliches. Please, excuse me. Sir, hello. Please let me dine alone. Thank you very much. Let me dine alone. They say we black people eat white people. Let me eat them alone. They're eating each other, for God's sake. It's We're ridiculous. Eating. We're eating each other. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's deal with this one point at a time. 
Why do you mean? What do you mean? We are eating each other. Killing each other. Oh, killing each other. Killing Sir, each other. are you aware that 80 over 83 percent of um, deaths, white deaths in America, are committed by white people? I'm sure they are. Of course. So what we have is a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> in that, what we have, sir, people prey on their own because that is who. When you, the most murder victims are familiar with the person who kills them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when we talk about murders in the Turkish community. It's Turkish people. The Mafia weren't killing black people in New York. Hey, look at that guy with his back. Pow, pow, pow. The Mafia were killing Italians. But no one says, oh, look at this, oh, white on white violence. But all of a sudden, because, sir, I recognize that you've not even really given much thought, have you? You just repeat this bullshit and you didn't really think about it, did you? You didn't, did you? You didn't, did you? You never applied real thought to it, did you? You've done your BA, but you didn't progress beyond that, really, did you? He did his BS. He got a BS. He did his BS. No, he got his master's in BS. Madame, you didn't even get your bachelor's, so shut up. So just shut up. Just shut up. Let me deal with this thing one thing at a time. I am not giving, I'm not here to give you white people hugs and free hugs. That's over there. There you're going to get box and kick. Now hold up. We were talking about Baltimore, madam. Your first point about Baltimore. Now let's look at Baltimore, for example. And Ferguson and, 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 and New York. When Eric Garner was killed and all these other murder killings were, not even killing, murder. Because killing is, the, is almost a legal definition of taking someone's life. Murder is the unlawful act of taking someone's life. So let's be clear about the, the language we're using. The murders of young black men by the police. All people in America, irrespective of race or color, should have been on the streets protesting. Because it is about human rights, all of our rights. However, black people went on the streets and they were, they were protesting for seven days without no media coverage. Scores of thousands, thousands of people on the streets protesting. We want justice. We want justice. For seven days, no media turned up and did fuck all. And then all of a sudden, someone takes out a box of matches, <laughs> lights a house, and all the media's there. Look at these niggers. Look at these black people burning down their own homes, burning down their neighborhood. It's funny. And so the narrative shifts from, so no, America no longer has the debate about about police murdering young black people where the debate in America becomes because it's orchestrated by the media the corporate media the debate then becomes look at how these people are damaging public and private property so the argument then becomes how much damage was done look at these people looting it's funny I'm an observer and I'm an analyst I'm a political analyst so I analyze this bullshit and I think about this imagine whenever there's uprisings in America as a result of police violence or whatever they frame it as white, as, as black people rioting, looters, creating damage to public property. However, when we had the, the Arab Spring in Tunisia, in Egypt, in Tunisia when Mohamed Bouazizi self-immolated, set fire to himself because he was brutalized by the police, it sparked a civil uprising that created millions of pounds of damage, of, of, of damage to public property. The media said, fuck all. When we had the Arab Spring set spread to Egypt, when the police butchered and murdered Khalid Saeed and dragged his body into an alley, and then his brother went to the morgue and took a photograph and put it on Facebook, which sparked a revolution in Egypt. When, look at the amount of damage that was done to public property there, but the media, Western media, wasn't interested in damage to public property then. They were talking about civil rights, that the people demand justice. When he went to Libya, the, God, the Western governments are saying, look at Gaddafi killing Libyan people. When in Syria, look at the damage. No one spoke about damage to public property. You bunch of fucking racist, big Mac munching hypocrite motherfuckers. Look at you. And then you want to come and tell me about Baltimore? Have you studied it, madame? Have you thought about it? You didn't either, did you? You didn't either, did you? You didn't because you motherfuckers don't really think about the black narrative, the black experience. You only look at it through the prism of white supremacy. And I'm not saying you're racist. I'm saying you are short-sighted in the way you look at the you're, problem. You're short-sighted by saying the word I'm black. I'm saying, sir. sir. You know what? Oh, that I'm short-sighted by saying the word black. Yeah. There's about a thousand different Imagine. groups of people. I'm, there's thousands of different people. Hey, hold on. Thousands and if you carry on, I will set my white security guard against you. Black. 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 You can't just call these people black. <laughs> there's thousands hold of on. different cultures. Hold on. He says we can't say black. Not because it's racist. Okay, it's just sir, like sir, 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 sir. Okay, okay, white liberal. 
I'll, get, I'll seek counsel and advice from you. What words should we, as people of colour who are experiencing oppression and violence and murder, what words should we use to rally under? But it depends where you're from. We didn't even, we it weren't even the ones who called are. ourselves black. If you're from We America, were not even the ones who defined ourselves yeah, as black. If you're from Africa, it's a lot different than if you're from North you America. Be so what do you suggest? Differently, so what do you suggest? Brothers hold and on, hold on, hold on, sir. Don't give him time to think. Keep him under pressure. So what <laughs> term do you think we should use? I don't think you should use that term. We don't need to say white, so black, what? it's people Sir, of colour. Sir, the it's base has somehow vanished from your voice. You are now right. speaking in pure trouble. Sir, thank you. White security, white security. Don't get with me yet. Don't deal with me yet. Deal with me yet. Hold up, hold up. It's communist. White security, deal. Hold up. Sir, I are, you said to me we should not use the word black. And you were very sort of firm in that. You had so much base in your voice. Now I ask you, what term should we use to rally on? Okay, and we are well, seeking white count. Oh, my friend, don't it might be, excuse me. It might don't be Nigerian. Inter don't oh, interrupt. It might be Nigerian, for example. It might be Nigerian. It might be poor people. It might be anything. Poor people. It could be anything. Sir, sir, okay, okay.